Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Markets finished up mixed yesterday with corn and beans trading higher while wheat finished the day lower. All currently higher to start the day so far this morning. We've got June option expiration today, and June options are based on July futures. Uh, as we've noted here on the Wilkins Ag Wire in the past, we'll sometimes see markets hover around where the highest open interest is as far as strike levels. For corn, that's 470. For beans, that's 15 dollars even and then for wheat that's the 680 level so we'll have to wait and see because all the markets are relatively close to those levels we'll have to wait and see if uh, can act like a little bit of a tractor beam and keep them contained to those levels so moving forward today uh, we did get some new soybean sales announced today we sent uh, 210,000 metric tons to unknown and 120,000 metric tons to China. Those are sales for the 2014-2015 crop year so new crop sales um, Moving forward, soybeans are higher again this morning. Uh, they didn't finish on their highs yesterday, but, uh, but they still were higher on the day, trading higher so far this morning. Just got the tight situation here in the U.S., continued demand. Um, a lot of people are thinking what the USDA has pegged for exports is too low. We're not going to see, uh, we're going to go above and beyond that, therefore taking our ending stocks lower. So, therefore, trading higher in soybeans, continue to push higher. It's, it kind of turns into a how high can we go type scenario. Uh, some traders are looking at the next level of resistance at being 1535, and then old resistance, which was $15, now becomes support. So we'll have to see if it pings pong bet ping pongs between those areas, or if it can break out one way or the other. Then if you got corn, that's kind of following the soybean market as of right now, and then wheat. Got some heavy showers expected over in the uh, western plains, and then also the world situation has uh, got plenty of wheat on hand, so we'll have to see how that plays out, but that's definitely been pressuring the wheat market as of late. So we have Memorial Day on Monday, and thank you very much to those of you that have served our country. Uh, that day's all about you, and thank you very much for that. But we will be closed on Monday. We will not get crop progress on Monday. That will come out on Tuesday. So enjoy your long weekend, and again, thank you to those who served, and we will see you on Tuesday. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by a Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors, such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore, investors should understand the risk involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure accessed at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.